Oh, damn, that thing is getting it. Holy moly. Oh, damn, we got flames. I might be a little close. Oh, damn, all the shit on the other side on fire. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm backing up a little bit. Back. Holy shit. Damn. What'd you go and burn your trailer now for, man? All they were going to do was tow it. Holy shit, that thing is going. Oh, damn. Oh, the field's on fire. Field's on fire. Oh, that fucking, oh, that telephone pole is going to get it and everything. Yeah, I seen you unhook real fast. <laughs> Said, uh, maybe not today. Right here. Oh shit, the telephone lines are on fire. That is not gonna be good. Anthony, move my spinner against the wall, please. Here. Here. Move my spinner against the wall. Good. Do you know how to move it? Yeah. Holy shit, look at that thing go, damn! Hey, when you're done, your video. Okay, alright, alright, Hold on, baby. It's getting serious. It's getting really serious. Am I good? Oh my God, it's getting, it's getting serious. There's the owner right there of the trailer. Talking about putting some water on it after he set it on fire. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, shut shut the fan off in the off in there. Oh damn! Oh, my. Oh, my God. I'm moving out of the way. <laughs> this is <Woo! laughs> God damn! <laughs> Holy shit! Look at this, you guys. This is like World War Three over here. Watch my dad's live stream. Huh? Where are you live on? Where are you live on? YouTube. Go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Oh damn! Look at that. Is Mama shutting the fan off? We shut these doors too. Ever shut these doors too or something? I don't know. It's kind of going over the building right now. Shut these doors, babe. This is getting hot. I know. I don't really have nowhere to go. Look at that shit. Hey, never a dull moment over in this area, is it? Hey, they were towing. They were towing them. The oh, code enforcement. They lit it on fire. The power line. Oh wow! Look at this, man. Something could explode in that thing. Hey, Anthony. Oh, maybe you should go cut our CNC machines off because we're gonna probably lose power. Okay. Wow. Woo! Holy shit! We got 300. Hey, those. There's the owners right over there. They straight lit it on fire while it was getting ready, while it was hooked up. Didn't they say it was a candle? They said, yeah, it was a candle. Bullshit. No, no. Oh my God. Look at that, man. How many times are we gonna lose those telephone poles? Ah. Hey, here we go again, bro. No, I'm the one that made sure they called on these guys and they would leave. No, right? they were seriously towing all of them just now. I know, I know, I drove by. He, he was I, I have the case number and everything. I'm the one that I, I, I tried to handle it. I trust me, I wanted to set it on fire myself, but I'm, I didn't want to dwell on the dark side, so I didn't. I didn't know they didn't care enough to just do it themselves. I gotta give a lighter. That's great. I hope the dog got out of there, though. I'm sure they did. I don't even think they got a dog. Huh? I, I haven't seen that dog in a I haven't seen the dog in a couple of days.
And uh, on a positive note, it ain't coming back because last time it left for a week and was right back in the same spot. God damn. Oh. Oh, drama. It's drama. Dude, shit, look at it. They're busting the windows up right now. Live and direct on YouTube. Let me too watch. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide right behind this electrical transformer. This shit's over here getting it. <laughs> oh, here. Here, this oh my gosh, here sure I am. <laughs> oh man, when I call, I called, you know, I called the city to make sure these things were removed and I guess that uh, they're really homeless now. They didn't care enough to move it. Well the tat the tow truck was here to no motor home for you. They last time they left, they were gone for a week, and they came right back, same spot. Woo! Look at it go! Damn, it's a it's a convertible now. Woo! Damn! Look at that fucking thing go! Yeah, I'm ducking down too. <laughs> Dude, this thing is not. Do what you gotta do, bro. Do what you gotta do. Wow, you should be in handcuffs. Poor this college tow guy, man. He had to fucking fail. Yeah, he bailed. He just got it. It took him like 20 minutes to figure out how to hook it up because it's like. Where's the police? Why is the police coming to arrest these people? He set that shit on fire on purpose. They did. I, 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 you can wear your shit down if, if you want. What about our telephone pole? What about the power lines? Yeah, the power lines are on fire right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. And you know what? This is like a, it's, it's at least the second time that I've seen those let those uh, power lines get melted. Shout out to Sacramento Fire Department, man. These guys are heroes. They're the best. Any firefighter. Yeah. Hey, what up? Yeah, it is. It's good practice. Hey, that's a that's more than a barbecue. That's a RV a queue. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Ooh. So, any of you guys over here new to this right now, they were towing this homeless camp RV away that keeps coming back every single week. Just trash everywhere. And, well, I guess they didn't want to be towed. Cause as soon as they hooked up to that big ass truck, smoke started hurling out of it. And so did the people that were in it. They're like, I guess you ain't taking it. But hey, I'm just glad it ain't coming back. I don't want to see this thing again. That is some good practice though. Somebody comes and cleans all the trash up when they're done. Oh, yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
I wasn't too worried about them trying to steal nothing. It's just that they leave trash everywhere, everywhere. It's, yeah, I don't want to live in filth. I don't want my shop to be in filth. When customers come over here, I don't want them to see trash and shit all over the fucking place. You know, I've had people tell me, why don't you clean up the trash around your shop? It ain't me. Somebody else. So, yeah. This whole street right here, you can't see it, but all the way down that way, for about a quarter mile, was full of homeless camps, and they just moved. But what happens is that they move, and then they come right back. They get the yellow tag, and then they come right back every time. So this one ain't coming back. That's a good thing. I mean, does anybody need that much trash? I get it, you know, I mean, if you need to camp out in your RV because you don't got nowhere to go, but do you need 40 bike frames? Do you need 30 empty Alhambra water bottles and buckets? And who knows what, what is in there? I mean, you don't need 30 bike frames. What evidence was he wanting to hide? I don't know idea. I want my name. <laughs> Who? Identity theft, people, mail fraud stuff. What, 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 really, what did he want to hide? I have no idea. All I saw was they were towing it, and then they weren't towing it. That's the only thing I really know. They had the big call joke tow truck that bad boy over there you can hardly see it in all the smoke they were ripping that thing off of our street I mean, look, that's the stuff that was on their trailer already. So this is the kind of trash we got to deal with out in front of our shop all the time. And when they leave and they're gone for a week, maybe two weeks sometimes, it's so quiet and nice over here. And then one of them rolls in, they get pulled in by another car that does run with a, with a strap, and then they get left here. That's how it happens. We're not talking about someone that pulls up with their working registered RV, spends the night, and then moves on. I wouldn't even have a problem with that. I'd be like, cool, enjoy your night. Don't leave no trash behind, see you another time. But they get pulled in by another vehicle that runs with a strap and that vehicle takes off, he's gone. And then for the next month, there's people camped out in front of the shop. There's needles in the bushes. There's a needle in the bush right now. You guys wanna see a needle in the bush? I'll show you. I'm gonna show you right now. Where is it at? Usually I pick them up with pliers, but I didn't get to it yet. Yeah, right there. See, this is the reason right here why we got problems over here. See that? That's like the third or fourth one that we've already had to pick up and throw away. So it isn't just somebody down on their luck. It's needles and it's garbage. And it's, that's all their garbage too. They decided to put it there. Well, that's it, you guys. Looks like the fire's over. Hey, you know what? I got video, because I got cameras out front of my shop. People pull into this parking lot, and they get out like girls. They squat, and they piss. That might even be piss right there. I don't know. I'm a, I can't even come out here and spray it with the hose, because then I'm going to reactivate it after it dries. So I just, I mean, yeah. My cameras catch all kinds of activity out here all night long. Look at that though, man. Shout out to the Sacramento Fire Department. Good practice for them. Because that was going to be nothing nice. Look, the, that, uh, that line is still on fire up there. I think you heard me. <laughs> Did he hear me? Oh no, he's not spraying the line. Yeah, you can see that line is still on fire up there, you guys. I don't know if you're able to see that or not. 
it's, it's bright out here. Hey, what? You got a problem with me talking? Hey, hey, hey. the more this guy talks, SMH. What the fuck do you want me to do? It's my channel. You want, uh, you want me to just sit here and not talk? <laughs> God. Hey, y'all can say what you want. I'm going to get in here later and see who said what. You better be nice to me, goddammit. If you ain't nice, I'm going to let you have it. The bottom line is cable TV. Oh, look, they're spraying it right now. Oh, yeah, I'm coming back after the people that has been talking some shit while I was filming and I can't see what you're saying. We're about to handle business. But for right now, we're just checking this thing out. Vote Trump unless you're a complete loser. Now, where did these people start showing up from? Hey, Ash, let me tell you something about the trolls. Two-thirds of the people that hate me don't like me because I handled a troll and they didn't like it. So you know what? I don't give a shit. Because anybody who takes up for one of these assholes, they ain't no friend of mine either, so they can all go blow each other somewhere. I really don't care. Oh, uh, there's nothing to hate about Cali. You should love Cali. We're like the economy of the United States. We're supporting half of you guys. Hey, you know what, you guys? We did. Baby, we found Baby right over there by that trash pile. That's pretty much where he was found, right over there. So yeah, it's always been eventful out here. Hey, you know what, hey, hold on a second. You're gonna tell me you don't have dirty needles and hobos where you live? Post up where you live, I guarantee you, you do. I guarantee it. Maybe not in your, maybe not in your neighborhood, but go to the big city, go to the nearest city where you live, I guarantee it. So, that don't have none of this shit where I live either. My house is nice and, as a, as a nice clean area. <laughs> Woo, I live in Wisconsin. Yeah, you got tweakers in Wisconsin for sure. Hey, that's what happens, man. The campers, they come out and they set up their cones. These guys, man, hey, these campers, they put out their canopy. They put out their barbecue. They put out they put out picnic benches and shit. They straight post up when they come here. They don't spend the night and leave. They post up. So it's that's how it's a problem. No, there was no meth lab in there. I, I don't think so. Just a bunch of junk. These people that were there are actually, you know, they're pretty nice. They're, I mean, I don't really like that they're trash and they're filth and they're garbage is everywhere, but they were nice people. But now I don't have to look at their trailer anymore. Shouldn't have to. You can be nice somewhere else and I can wave to you wherever you're at on your own property that you paid for, not someone else's property. Hey, this thing was raging though. If you guys are new to this video uh, feed right here, this little stream, let me tell you right now, this thing was raging. Hey man, I live in Wisconsin. There's no tweakers here. There's no homeless here. Yeah, all right, please. All right. Well, I think this uh, video is about ready to come to an end. You guys get the point. It's just about done. Even though we got 300 people in here.
That thing really went though, I'll tell you what. Paul Abula, 18T has been informed from my video. Breaking news, Steve Mead's YouTube channel. AT&T is watching and they shut the lines down after they saw it melting. He said, hop in. Told you we we're gonna burn, burn it down. Spelly says, I didn't burn shit. I'll tell you what. All right, you guys. Life out front of the SMD headquarters. It's actually not that bad of an area, but we do get our uh, fair share of uh, drama out here. You've seen it before. If you've seen me go live, that whole field was on fire one time. This is no, this is nothing new around here. But uh, anyways, uh, I hope whoever's trailer was, hope they get a job, get their life together and be normal people. You don't need 40 bike frames. You don't need all that garbage. Get your life together. All right, you guys, I'm out of here.